This is the way it's how we warm up. That's it. That's it. Folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. I'm here with Maria Fernanda, who has a full name. Hit it. Maria Fernanda Vicuña Lumon Garcia Barna McGovern. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Originally from Mexico. Man, Veracruz. And now Veracruz. She is living in Las Vegas and she is an NPC bikini competitor and just a downright savage person who wants blood, has punched a guy in the face before in the gym just for fun. Yes. He was but, in my spots. Get out of my spot. Get out of my spots. Here's the thing. Maria is a bikini competitor and we're going to do a back workout today but because bikini competitors are small and fragile and need these exotic exercises we're only going to do super crazy isolation movements to target really small muscles because she's a fragile flower and women shouldn't be lifting heavy let's tune in for the first exercise which is going to be a top secret you'll see in a second So a really good thing to do between sets is dance. A lot of times Maria and I will have twerking competitions whenever the music's on in the gym. On that note, first exercise is the lat pull down. We could do pull-ups, but if you can do fewer than five good strict pull-ups, it's a lot of times better to do assisted pull-ups or pull-downs because that way you can get more volume and get more effort, right? So we're gonna start with pull downs. We're gonna do, oh gee, three or four sets of 10 to 20 reps, hard all the way to failure or very close because this is gonna be a super, super tough workout. This is the kind of workout you would do at the end of your plan before deloading. So let's hit it. Nine, slow, good job. Let's get it, let's get it. 10, good technique. 11, two more, got a touch. Yep, 12, one last one. Go, yes, oh, 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 almost. And rack, good job, very good job. Very good, very good. Feel it back there? Very good. Do we even have a dance for it? Folks, when you can no longer touch your chest with good technique, that's failure. I'm having Maria touch down at the lower part of her chest. Traditionally, pull downs would be touching at the clavicles, okay? But we're having her go lower because touching lower, if it's okay for your shoulders, actually produces more lat involvement, which isn't a good thing or a bad thing, but since we're targeting the lats here, that actually is a pretty sweet way to do it. Now you can try, you can touch your chest anywhere between here, like below the chest, all the way to here. Everything's fine, it's just different variations. Sometimes I feel I have to see it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing your own chest is hard. Here's the thing about training females, especially ones that aren't super gigantic. They recover super fast, which means not only can they have a higher frequency workout, three or four back workouts per week, but they can also rest a short time between sets. Normally, our sort of checklist for rest is when you feel really strong, you don't have a burn in the muscle, you're ready to produce another good set, and you're not out of breath. She's probably gonna hit that every 45 seconds or so. We are not gonna be resting long. So if you're trying this workout or a similar version at home by yourself, know that if you are female and on the smaller side of things, you don't have to rest three to five minutes like male powerlifters do. More. More, let's go. Good technique. Good, more. Let's go. More, you're doing great, keep it up. Beautiful, again, slow on the way up. Slow, good, stretch, and again, good. Touch, gotta touch, you got one more for sure. Touch, one more again. Let's go, touch, one more again. Vamos, Maria, let's go. Yes, and one last one. Only good technique, no swinging, make it happen. Again, 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 go. Again, stay up straight, pull, all the way down. Yep, and one last one. Hit it. Yes, and that's it. And wrap, beautiful. Very good, very good. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> all right, that's it for pull downs. Next up, 
barbell bent rows, let's get it done. Barbell rows, four sets of 10 to 20 reps. These are tough as shit. It's our first time doing them with this technique, the super special deficit technique. This is probably how you should be bent rowing. That doesn't mean you need to use the tens. It doesn't mean you need to go super low, but you need to go low enough that it's a back exercise and not some kind of bullshit hip exercise. Every single time we touch the ground or at least get fully extended, and every single time we touch the tummy. As soon as you can't touch the tummy, that's failure. No bullshit swinging, let's get it done. Feet, feet closer together, for, uh, yeah. and then toes out a little bit. Very good. Grab the bar, and then see how your back is right now? Exactly like that, just take and just do this. Perfect, one, two, these are flawless. Three, no swinging. Four, phenomenal, Maria, perfect. Five, touch the tummy every time. Six, excellent. Seven, very good. Eight. Come on. Nine, beautiful, keep going, these are awesome. 10, good, chest up, back flat. Good, 11, let's get to 15. 12, no swinging. 13, stretch. Wow, one more, let's get it. Touch that tummy. That's it, one more, one more, one more, let's go. Yes, one more, no swinging. <laughs> That's it, failure. Very good. You also have a slight problem that you have like a negative stomach, so it's hard for you. Me, I can touch easy because I got this big ass <laughs> gut. Can you turn to the side and pull in? See like, I don't know, uh, there's no waist there. So every time I'm like, she's gonna touch her stomach, when you come up, your stomach disappears. I'm like, oh shit, you have like two more inches to go. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Big question is, when does failure occur in the bent row? Because you can always uh, schmig a little bit with the form. You can always get a little creative and maybe do like just a little bit of one of these. The answer is this. The first time you have to do a little schmig, it happens. Sometimes we just like lose our focus and then you're like, okay, that one sucked. Try another rep. If on the second rep, you have to commit yourself on that second rep, after you do a little weird twerk, to saying, you know, no more, only solid technique. And then if that rep doesn't go anywhere and you have to schmig, that's failure. That's it. Because sometimes you get a little weird and then you're like, no, 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 I can fix this. And then you still have reps and that's totally cool. That doesn't mean you hit failure. But if you have to schmig twice, the shit is over. What the hell is schmig? Who knows? Keep it going. It doesn't matter how many you get. What matters is they're all quality. Good. Keep that chest up. Yes. Yes. No hip swinging. One more. Touch that chest. That's it. Good. Very good. Very good. Good stuff. Relax for a sec. I'll, okay. I'm gonna say something and then we'll we'll yeah. get to deadlift. I see stacks. Yeah, yeah. Do you need a drink or anything like that? I good. <laughs> Because I'm Mexican. it around a lot. Oh, it's like, like up in the roast. <laughs> You're sick. I'm trying to make drug jokes. You're making ball jokes. We're not even on the same page. More, more. You still got it. You still got it. You want to put on muscle mass in your back? This is how we're doing it today. Big chest. Control. Up. Good. More. Up, go, go. Good, fix that technique. Stay upright and up, better. Three more and you're done. One, good. Slow, up, fix that back before you pull. Two, and one last one, gentle touch. And up, 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 three, and slow. And that's it, good job. Yeah, that was something. Good stuff. But you're too strong because that was like 23 reps, so we're gonna put more weight on, okay? If you can maintain neutral spine, 
and go all the way down to a deficit, great hypertrophy work for the deadlift. Maria got like 23 reps or something insane. So now we are up to 165 because we need to keep it down below 20 reps to get the most amount of tension. Metabolites are cool, but deadlift's all about tension and anything more than 20 reps is kind of just cardio. All right, so hopefully this is enough weight. If not, we'll add it again. These are all work sets, we're not warming up, but sometimes you have to make adjustments. Always good technique. You're gonna notice her back is always flat. As soon as it rounds, we call it out. If she fixes it, we keep going. If she can't fix it, the set is over, that's failure. Up and then slow, 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 and that's it. Very good, very good, very good. Back pumped up. Already, yes. Up, good, more. Let's get this done right. Let's finish on a high note. Very good. Up, flat back. Slow, up. One more, last one of the day. Make it good, gentle touch. Up, 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 up. And then slow control as if you're gonna do another. Slow, 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 slow. That's it. Solid. Okay. Solid. Yes. The high rep sets of 10 to 20 in the deficit deadlift, if you have the cardio for it, is a fucking unbelievable back builder, glute builder, and sometimes even hamstring builder. It'll all around get you fucking jacked. Your traps will blow up. Your mid back, your spinal erectors. If you want that Johnny Jackson type back thickness, Google if you don't know who that is. High rep deadlift and increasing load over the weeks and months and years is how you get super fucking jacked. Fucking great job. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be serious. Ah. <laughs> oh, you didn't punch anybody. I know, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's find We're someone Jared. to punch. Yeah. That's the workout. We're gonna outro and then stay tuned because there may be a fist fight coming up. Bum, bum, bum.